Hey guys, I'm Arthur Perkins. This is AP Gaming Real. Welcome to episode nine of Warhammer 40k, uh, Wrath and Glory, Dark Inquisition. I literally forgot the name of the show midway through the introduction. It's pretty bad. Uh, well, Wrath and it's Glory, a time of total warfare. Yeah, that's yeah. definitely not what. <laughs> You know, viewers have started submitting alternative names for if we ever switch to Mech Warrior Destiny, and they are bad. They're they're bad. <laughs> I don't think you can do it. I don't think you can combine Total Warfare and Mech Warrior Destiny in a blending way that makes for a good name. Um, of course, we're here to play Warhammer. I know it's only been two weeks, but it feels like it's been a fucking long time since we played. Yeah. It seriously feels like it's been like a whole month since we played. It's only been like a couple of weeks. I know. I know, Pondo. I know. It only feels like it's been a couple of weeks for me. Well, it's been a couple of weeks, so that sounds correct. Well, I don't honestly how you feel it's a month. I don't know, Pondo. I don't know. I don't know, Pondo. Pondo, meet AP. AP Pondo. Yeah. It's <laughs> almost like the perception of time is subjective. All right. Well, it, it's probably worse just because we didn't, what, we had... I had so many shows get canceled, well, actually. Because yeah, yeah, New, New Game Plus was good two weeks because Dave's, you know... Dave's like, yeah, I'll, I'll be... If if all of my flights go perfectly correct and there's no weather implements, I should be able to get out of a taxi cab and walk directly onto the show on Wednesday. And I'm like, you know what? Let's not bet on that. <laughs> Let's not bet that traveling 16,000 miles is going to work out perfectly. Yeah. Um, You know, tonight on introductions, we're going to start with Pondo. Now, some of you might know pondo he's done a few shows with me i'd say like one or two episodes of some other show who knows really uh but what you may not know is that apparently he is the worst decisionist in the entire world and you know what i'd never considered that but now that i go back and think about it i think that's true i think that with pondo it's not necessarily that he's bad at deciding things but that if something doesn't matter to him it's difficult for him to make a decision. Will he choose a name for his orc? No. No, he won't. And that's why on the overlay, it's going to say Brad. Oh, it's going to say Brad. It's it's Bragg. Your name is Bragg. Yeah, I went to like a random name generator. And I see. It, so it's exactly it's like Brad, Bragg. but with a G instead of a D. Yeah, it's Bragg something. I don't remember what the other last name was. I, I will recall, good sir. Uh, that I did state that if you hadn't decided your name before the end of the show, I was just going to call you Brad. I did decide it before the end of the show. I don't recall that. My notes do not indicate... I didn't say it out loud. I just put it <laughs> in the show <laughs> Wow. Oh, boy. What, what a conundrum. I mean, you did decide, but you didn't tell me. I mean... I did. I put it in the roll 20. But you didn't Stop tell me. You didn't look How am I supposed sure to know? My character's name is in the roll twenty-two. Yeah, yes, but you also told me out. Okay. Yeah. Did I? No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. All right. I don't know. <laughs> Pathfinder Second Edition. Chat. Someone go watch the entire vod. Your name in, is Cos. K O S. Two minutes. Your name is Cos. K O S. You said it yeah. to me out loud. That's the only reason I know it. I I, I do I do not recall this thing. Hundred percent happened. Here are the names that I have: Crud, Cost, Bl I'm not lying. Why would I lie about this? This would be the dumbest thing in the world to lie about. That's right, Sid. I observed your character sheet, but not Pondo's, and then I decided to set up an ultra deception just for this intro in order to gaslight you. I mean, it makes perfect sense when you think about it. <laughs> Pondo, just see your. I don't know where we are. Do your intro. Hi, I'm Pondo Pondo the Mad. You catch me on YouTube or Twitch slash Pondo the Mad. Uh, where I have nothing up at the moment. Are you sure? I'm just fine free time. Yeah. My my good sir. Nothing new, I should say. Since the last episode, I believe something has changed within you. Something is not the same. 
you'll be playing by the rules of a new Pokemon game. Uh, yes. Yeah, it's too late to do a second intro, though. The intro is now complete. Okay. You have to trust your I instincts. Close your eyes and leap. I just won't talk about it, then. No, tell me about this play-by-post Pokemon game that you have going on. I want to know. Well, Cotton was willing to play Pokemon. Wow, I'm shocked by this. <laughs> Absolutely. This is so outside her wheelhouse. But uh, con please continue. But she did. She wanted to do... She didn't want to try to use the OVA stuff that AP's been working on. Because the OVA is a little bit tricky at times. What, what you mean to say is, is that Magikarp is the strongest Pokemon yeah, in that, that yeah. system. <laughs> This OVA is a little bit finicky when you try to translate it into Pokemon. So we decided to try to use PTU Pokemon, but she nor I really wanted to use the trainer stuff, so we decided to use Savage Worlds into the mix of it. So, and then just try to avoid Pokemon and trainer fighting. Next thing I know, you're going to be Eric Fulgarising. You're going to be out there, just be like, all right, I want to play Mech Warrior with Pendragon. Let's blend that system with Genesis. We're just going to use three tabletop RPG systems. No one I think Pokemon's calling out for Fiasco support. <laughs> fiasco? Ooh. I could see that. I would, I would play Team Rocket in every Fiasco game, though. Of course you would. Something would go wrong. Uh, I, there's only something else that I have actually been trying to figure out a way to blend Savage World and Bolt Action into doing like a Weird Wars 2 campaign. You didn't think of just doing Weird Wars 2 and Weird Wars 2? Savage Worlds has Weird Wars 2 support. I know. That's that's where Weird Wars that's 2 what came from. Is, so what I'm saying is just do Weird Wars 2 and Weird Wars 2. You, what's with this bold action? Get bold action out of here. I want to do the war game. Okay. All do right. like how you've been doing with blending RPG with tabletop. All right. I'll accept that. I feel like you could do that just with base Weird Wars 2, though. I know because I was already planning to do such a show about three years ago. I mean, you probably could, but... I think you could. How's I... the progress going on that, Pondo? I definitely don't want to deter you if this is your passion. And I know that you've been working on it for several months. Yeah, that one was reading through the entirety of the old action book that I've been slowly reading through. I do like how it does some of the things in it. Like how you don't have to worry about the closest person to you. You can shoot the people behind them just at a higher difficulty. Yes, James. It's always three, by the way. Always three. You got anything else going on, Pondo? No, that's about it. All right, well... I feel like I've really derailed these intros. Sid, I'm going to toss it to you. Let's see if we can get this thing back on the train, you know. Yeah, hi. So I'm here. It's been 48 hours since the last time we saw each other, and a great deal has gone on since 44. then. 44. 44. 44. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah I, I, it was an interesting day job type day for me today. We had... Uh, uh, the owner of one of the local ISPs call us in a panic because their server completely self-destructed and is basically going to be almost non-recoverable. It's that bad. So I've, I've spent my entire day working on that stuff. That's been fun. And uh, turns out that he didn't realize it, but he actually lives right across the road from me. And I remembered him. <laughs> Has he done so, something to you? No. Uh, but I was like, hey, so uh, you know exactly where I live. What, 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 are, what are the chances of being able to get some of your internets there out of my house? Wow. <laughs> wow, Sid. 
let's talk about this while I'm working on your server and hold your entire business's livelihood in my hand. Just to be clear, law enforcement officers, I do not want to be tried as an accomplice to extortion. I Not only do I have nothing to do with this, I disavow this man. No, it's not extortion. It's it's more of an aside. Say like, hey, while I'm doing this, let's talk about this other thing. I mean, it's I would still fix his sir. I would still fix his stuff and keep his business from going belly up if it's within my power to do so, regardless of his answer. But I figured, hey, you know, while I got you, I need some better upload speed. So they're going to work on this. It's less extortion, more bribery. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a trade, right? In lieu of paying for labor costs, how about you hook me up with some of that super fast internet you guys are? Quid pro quo. Mm -hmm. But the labor costs would be paid to the company, not to you directly. Company's oh, okay. Sid. Sid, the company's Sid, okay with it. Sid. The company's okay with it. My goodness. This because is I'm on salary and this isn't business hours. Corruption at the highest levels of your local government. <laughs> what I want to so step in front of a mirror and start practicing. I have no memory of that conversation. Yeah. I have no recollection of saying that. I mean, from what Sid's saying, it sounds like it's just the exchanging of. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? An exchanging of. It's corruption. It's fine. You know what? It's fine. Guys. Instead of payment in cash for services rendered, it's payment in services for services rendered. I understand, Sid. You you really don't that's, need to rephrase this for me. That's not extortion. That's nothing of the sort. That's you know, trades happen all the time. We actually uh, we do a lot of work for um, three different chambers of commerce that we do entirely on trade because that's... it's chamber of commerce, and they're basically a mob protection racket anyway, anyways, and they never have any money. But we try to help them out. You want to talk about protection racket? What are they called? The Better Business Bureau? Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what an amazing scam. I don't know who thought of that, but they're ingenious. And it still works today with Yelp. Yelp exists and the Better Business Bureau is still getting away with their crap. Better Business Bureau. So you got anything else? I'm just going to continue to shake my head and think about the BBB. AP, maybe the Better Business Bureau owns Yelp. <laughs> <laughs> they don't. Who knows, man? Yelp. And mm. any open corporate... <clears throat> I could see it. Anyways, no, I don't I don't have anything else going on. It's been I've been working my butt off today trying to save a business from <laughs> having to shut their doors. I feel like I've still derailed this. All right, Atomic. <laughs> I need you to bring it back. I'm drowning here. I'm drowning. What am I wearing your ass? Go, I'm wearing the latest in the uh, the new game plus. Oh, that's true. Yes, hey, you brought from, it back. Excellent. From from you know, the AP on the back there. It's nice, it's comfy, it's form fitting. It's so, soft. <laughs> I just want to be clear. All right. I want to be super clear. You're saying that you are enjoying. The... I am enjoying the product with I per that I purchased with my legal tender. Yes. So it is a premium t shirt that you Wait, can you get. You can get it in trade? No. Yeah. <laughs> you can get it on teespring.com at the AP Gaming Real merch store. And this is your character from New Game yeah. Plus. It is indeed. And it has my logo on the back not that that's very important but you it's comfortable and you can it's get it online now at teespring.com in a in a plethora of colors this color i got i believe is called heavy metal i didn't know you could get it in any other colors i when it asked me what colors i wanted in i said only black i thought you'd get it in black and gray and then my goodness else. wow that is not intended i wanted it to be completely black so Maybe maybe it is just black. Maybe I'm just colorblind. So it's a distinct possibility. Anyway, irrelevant. How uh, other than receiving this fantastic shirt, how has your week been? Um, we've been dealing with AC problems. 
which wouldn't be as big of a deal if I didn't live in Satan's asshole, AKA <sighs> central Florida. Um, so that's been fun. We've had, we've moved, moved in this house in November and we've had the AC go out twice. And it, you know, it's like, Oh, it's, it's not, it doesn't stop working in, I don't know, December. It starts, stops working in fucking August and September in Florida. Ugh. So that's been, that's been fun dealing with that. Um, Luckily, everything's still covered under whatever, how, yeah, whatever bullshit. So they'll just fucking they'll ever get to the point where they'll just be say, say fuck it and just replace the whole unit and then won't have to deal with it. But uh, other than that, I mean, really just kind of I mean, got the bright idea to make my own Space Marine chapter for 40K, 40K. So that's that's a thing. Um, what are you calling them? I have not. You know, I've gone through a couple names, and then as soon as I come up with a name, I look, and it's like it's already a name that's already taken. I'm like, motherfucker. I see. Pun of the Mad Syndrome. I've been there. Because there's just, there's just so many. It's not even that there are already, like, a couple of the names, because I want to be Iron Hand successors, and a lot of those names with, like, steel or iron in them, are like, a lot of them are Iron Hands warbands. I understand. You know? uh, so... Let me throw some ideas at you. Yeah. Uh, steel Wolves. Ten Puppies. All right, I'm just, just going to ignore you. Spirit so, yeah, cats. You, have, you have me, you have me with still wolves, and then you, you lost. <laughs> um, I got a new airbrush. Sort of working on painting some of my Iron Warriors stuff. Mm -hmm. Nice. Has, many, many hazard stripes. All the hazard stripes. Uh, Iron Warriors take safety very seriously. Uh, but other than that, you know, I've just been doing my wild wow thing and uh, having all my tabletop games get canceled. So this is the first one that I've got to play in <laughs> like two weeks. So... I know that feeling. It's like time has just been like, what am I doing in my life? I've got nothing to look forward to in my day. So, so I'm in this weird place with my Tuesday game where one of our members can't play for a few weeks until their schedule uh, comes back together. Cotton is temporarily filling a second person's spot and that person is coming back in November. Oh no, we lost Pondo! Yeah, he dropped out of tip top as well. Wow. Well, the good news is that Pondo's last in the order, so when he rejoins, he'll be there. I guess I'm over here in this. All right, I'll move over here so people can see my face. Speaking of people dropping out. Yeah. Well, yeah. All right, I'm, I'm with you there. It took me a second to get on that one, but yeah, I'm behind it. So we're, I wouldn't say we're booting Cotton out when that guy returns, but I'll be asking Cotton to go to guest status because it's an art show. And we'd like to bring artists on, so we'll have we'll have cotton on like two or three times a month, maybe like two times a month. I'm working on it. I'm trying to figure out a schedule. T listen, not every show is like this one or BattleTech. It can be extremely difficult to get people together. Has anyone heard from Pondo? Uh, he's offline. Oh, he's typing in Discord right now. Okay, type excellent. a message. If the message is powers out and I'm doomed. All right. He said a beer about his internet just kind of went dirt. Internet buried out, so not power. Hey, oh, there he is. Snaps back into position. So, uh, you Famous. know, we're in the middle of starting our third or fourth campaign on that show. <laughs> we're going to make a new game, uh, and then we'll play it until November Guy returns in November. So, man, tabletop RPGs can be hard. Yeah, I mean, look, James. I want to jump to you, but I want to. Uh, I want to say I appreciate that you at least got my Dark Ages references when literally no one in the audience and no one on the cast would ever get that reference. The Steel I'll Wolves for you, were really bad. They were truly awful. Yeah. James, let's see your intro now. Yeah, I'm James of the Grimdark Podcast, grimdarkpodcast.com. Yeah, I've had a, I was a reason we couldn't play last week. I was uh, getting on a plane. So I spent the last week in San Francisco at a total work junket, which was a lot of fun. Spent a lot of time in Silicon Valley, did a lot of uh, tours of the, the big tech companies there. Um, ate a lot of food, didn't drink, so I don't drink, but I was with people who drank a lot. Caught a ball game in San Francisco while I was there as well, which was good and uh made it back with a day to spare to get back on this show so i was a bit disappointed last week when i 
rush from the airport to my hotel in San Francisco to jump on and watch Game of Thrones, only to find that it's great granddaughter instead. Don't worry, I was also disappointed. Uh, Fully understandable, though. Supposedly, my understanding is we'll actually be able to launch tomorrow. I don't buy it. Well, I don't buy it either. <laughs> As as the show is fucking cursed, man. I don't know if it was me or which member of the show uh, ran over a witch and all seven of her black cats in a previous life, but and then kicked a gypsy. It was probably <laughs> you in your flying Cadillac. Let's be honest. Flying Cadillac. Yeah, you hit the witch in the air. That's what happened. <laughs> what the fuck? Dante Piero, man, it's flying Cadillac. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. How could you forget? I don't remember a lot about Dante Fierro's uh, specific actions. I remember his general actions. Invading Ecuador, buying an aircraft carrier. That was the last things he did. Look, his general actions were uh, assume command of any room that he was in. Throwing people off of rooftops. Throw anyone who ever opposed him or said anything bad about him off of a rooftop. I didn't get mayonnaise on this sandwich. <laughs> and that poor move janitor. up the Think corporate the ladder by throwing people off of rooftops. <laughs> move up the corporate ladder by uh, just you know, kicking out from under everybody else. Blame any mistakes on other members of my team. Yeah. And apparently he ran over a witch and six of her black cats at some point. <sighs> I guess it's possible. James, you got anything else going on besides not watching Game of Thrones and instead being forced to watch me play Fake Grand Order? Oh no! I mean, I, I play a lot of um, Fire Emblem Three Houses while flying. As I worked out, I could actually charge my Switch from the plane seat, which was pretty handy. Oh, that's a good. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. So I only like only watched a couple of movies the whole two flights as well because I just on the Switch the whole time. But yeah, no, it's been a pretty busy week with just all the stuff for work. So. But yeah, you know, fun stuff. As I said, it was just it was a a reward event for customers, and I was just a chaperone, so there wasn't really much work to it. It was just experiencing stuff. Although we had to to avoid certain tax implications, there we had to do some work related stuff. So we got to do a pitch to venture capitalists, and they rated our pitch. That's about it, really. As okay. soon as he said that you had to go to Silicon Valley, I was going to say, "I'm sorry." Oh, it was good. I got to drive a Tesla. Tesla Model X. Well, I got to not drive a Tesla Model X from the driver's seat, to be to be clear. But um, yeah, it was oh, just the autopilot. They were, they were demonstrating the autopilot. Oh. So. Look, I have beef with Tesla. I kind of like Elon Musk when he shuts his mouth. But uh, so, so does his legal team. <laughs> Here's the deal. This guy was like, "All right, Delaware, we're gonna we're gonna put you on the map. We like making batteries. We're gonna make." Tesla's in Delaware and everyone was like I want to work for Tesla they had like 50,000 people or so, an insane amount of people lined up to work at this new Tesla plant in Delaware there were people moving in from other states there was a huge amount of business being drummed up and then he dragged it out for like two years and then was like actually we're going to put it somewhere else and all of a sudden the local economy just fucking collapsed because of this jackass yeah, no, he's, there's a, uh, like a weekly tech news show that I watch on YouTube or whatever, and they go, they're, one of their favorite things to do is like, you know, his uh, must like weekly antics. And that whole time when he was going through, like when he kept, couldn't keep his mouth shut, and then, you know, if it was the SEC or whatever, was getting real mad at him, you know, because he was, he would say something stupid, and then, you know, the stock would go up or down or whatever, and it's like, you can't just make bullshit claims and then get away with you know whatever and so he actually actually has a guy now whose entire job is to approve his tweets before he sends them but he still says stupid shit it's like yeah he probably goes and hides in his bath like bathroom or something and it's like sending tweets from a I stall mean, or something i wish i had a guy that would approve tweets before i sent them <laughs> yeah, I, well, it's a, it's I a wish bit that different as well, between you doing it and then what he does good <laughs> just stuff. to be clear i was... wish you also had someone not me you <laughs> i wish you had someone that would approve your tweets that's Get okay though because I've, 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 I've somehow garnered a small team of individuals that like put the you know 
put the thumb down on my head every single time I like try and argue with a viewer or something like that on social media. Like last time I responded to someone kind of snarky, I had, I had uh, five people send me DMs saying, stop arguing with your viewers. Oh, they're way ahead of me. Okay. Yeah. I, I, next time I'll make sure someone will be like, no, fuck that guy. Keep going. This is entertaining. That guy's an asshole. But I'm very aggressive, so, you know, whatever. Yeah, but there's there's only so much. You know, you, ha you have to remember, nobody likes to hang out with someone if they're just negative shit all the time. My Discord disproves that theory entirely. <laughs> so, Unless there's uh, uh, something wrong with their heads. You know? <laughs> this is topic, also I, true. I, I observed the other day that my boss had 408 emails in his drafts box of Outlook. <laughs> And I mm -hmm. said to him, mate, you need to clear that stuff out. He's like, he, I, I worked out, he's one of those people that when he writes an email, if he's angry, he writes an angry email and then doesn't send it. And then he rewrites the email in a non-angry way, but he keeps That's the so angry email. so dangerous. <laughs> oh, see, I don't, I, don't, I don't keep those. I just yeah. delete them. I don't keep them in drafts because there's a possibility that you could accidentally bring one of those up and then, oh my God, I just hit send. That's it. He said if someone hit send all on his, on his drafts box, that he would be, he'd be gone. Not fired, like he'd be in a ditch somewhere dead. Yeah, <laughs> well, going to people. See, I would just send the angry email. I just have a policy of not apologizing to anyone for anything. See, but that would get me fired. <laughs> I'm I'm way too brutally honest and direct for my own good. Let's be real. So about I mean, that Warhammer? It, yeah. it's not it's not for lack of trying. I I literally tried last Friday. <laughs> <laughs> well with all this do it <laughs> i mean i think especially with a lot of the shit that's been going on the past couple of weeks like i think a lot of people would you'd probably get away with a lot of stuff like and not not your work stuff but like at least the twitter stuff with yelling at shitheads because god this has just been i can't even put into words how stupid it's been yeah but i'm in a special position where i'm supposed to be the the wise, calm individual that's just I don't there, think anyone you know, expects that of you, Sid. Sprinkle this little bit of knowledge. I would never. See, I get, I get the weird thing kind of like that, Sid, where people come to me for like, if they need like 100% no bullshit, brutally honest opinion or whatever, I'm like, you know what you're in for, right? Because like, I have two speeds, go and go faster. And that's it. Like, oh yeah, no, I know. It's like, all right, well, even if you're here for support, I'm going to rip you a new asshole if I think it's justified. So People just don't come to me for advice. I feel like other people are extremely wise. I just, I don't, I don't Very play discerning. any sides and I just, I'm just like, I mean, I'll fucking, I'll call anybody out on their bullshit or just tell them like, look, you're being stupid. Stop it. I don't care who you, I don't care. I don't care if it's my own mother. Like, just no, you know what you're getting into if you come to me for support or advice. So it's like, but plenty of people do, I guess, I guess there's just too many, there's too many yes men and, you know, people who like to sugarcoat and blow smoke up people's asses. It's like, nah, life's too short for that bullshit. So. Very well. Very well. Friends, allow me to peer into the past and remind us of what happened previously. Having bridged the arc of time uh, several months into the future, our humble Inquisition team reformed with a new army in tow. Lycus Santoro was assigned to complete several of the tasks he had previously failed to do after his let's call it a uh, best friend and most loyal servant duet was found dead uh like really dead like the kind of dead where you send an investigation team to figure out what the hell happened and an exorcist <laughs> uh upon finding the body they were um in so embattled into a situation where um they found themselves getting involved with the Arbites and a gang known as the Notorious Nine, who may not actually have nine members anymore. Upon examining the body after a number of, uh, some would call them good plays, other would call them shenanigans, they came to a conclusion that the crime scene was a setup and a deception. A body with weird uh, death marks was left in an alien hunter's bar and had some sort of weird indigo goo inside of it. But this was all smoke and mirrors, a deception left to trick you 
into coming here, but more importantly, wasting your time and perhaps even falling for the idea that gene stealers might be involved in this particular crime. After heading back towards the factory, this mega factory complex in the Underhive, which has been in the background of many scenes, uh, many paths have led here. A Eldar was spotted by literally everyone but Isher. Uh, a Eldar who had a strong family resemblance to his share and was singing and dancing and performing in a way that alarmed everyone. Lycus gathered the the boys, some might call them, uh, the gang. Uh, the posse headed on over to find this individual. Uh, in the process, they did not. The, in, the mysterious dancer escaped. Fearful of the effect of the crowd, which was also spreading in every direction. I wouldn't say fearful. Apprehensive of such a crowd, the party entered into the factory complex using the key code 8675, escorted by a local person who is definitely not a cultist and a good friend of Lyca Santoro. Turns out he's actually not a good friend and really is a cultist. Uh, standing behind the party, he shouted for his friends of chaos cultists to show up and help murder everybody now if my recollection is correct Lycus is in the front and Tifo is in the back behind both of you is your good friend who told you the door code and arranged for all this to happen and in front of you is spilling out a number of cultists now it should be said they don't appear in these robes that we see these miniatures having they're wearing simple hab level clothing factory garments you know, whatever would be blue jeans and a uh, stained shirt of the Warhammer 40k era. Probably exactly that, because in Warhammer 40k you can have basically anything. So let's say they're wearing blue jeans and stained shirt. But peeking out from underneath some of those sleeves are some pretty incriminating tattoos. The tattoos of chaos. So what I thought it was, I was next to the guy that opened us opened the door for us but if that's not the case okay. he was walking behind you because as if you recall this area is very cramped right incredibly cramped well i mean i thought i was the one closest to the guy who let us very in. well such a thing is fine okay. i'll reverse the positions now i have handed out to all of you your campaign cards for this you don't episode. want to know mine ap uh i mean I may not want to know it, but we might as well just get along. card when the GM uses a point of ruin to act first during a round of combat. The ruin is still spent, but the player characters act first instead. I see. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm just going to I'm gonna take that bait, sir. I'm going to take that. I am going to spend a point of ruin to I have this guy back here act first. So hard. Sid, and what do you have? I'll just use my card so that way it's just spent. My card is Ambition Knows No Bounds. Life is not measured in years, but by the deeds of men. Let us travel into this dark frontier and make it ours. Play this card to produce one piece of war gear of value tier 3 plus up to rare rarity. It is assumed your character acquired it before the adventure began. A 5 rare. Not bad. Not bad. What do you got, James? I would say you use that to get a frag grenade to throw at the other boys. I, I mean, I already have a, the grenade that... Uh, Oh, that's right. Your, is it a crack or is it a frag? It's a frag grenade. It's a frag. Oh, that worked lovely against that group. Yeah, I'll just use my card right away. So we don't take the initiative. But, so fittingly, I have Aldari Lament. Play this card when you are when you are required to make a defiance check or are reduced to zero wounds by a single attack. Regain 1d3 wounds and regain all shock. Add one glory. That's yeah. so powerful. I got uh, what the unleash fuck? The, I got unleashed the sword winds. There's no art more beautiful and diverse as the art of death. Enemy reinforcements arrive, including at least one elite or adversary threat. After defeating these foes, the protagonists each gain one to three wrath, depending on the strength of the forces that appear. Man, some of these campaign cards can really mix things up for the GM too. Interesting. All right. Well, I've. I've paid my ruin to seize the initiative. Uh, these are not a mob, by the way. They're not a troop. E well, they are troops, but they're not a mob. Each of these guys is acting individually. 
Uh, and so you can't do that thing where you pay more to share. You can't do more successes. You have to shoot you more. Could, you could declare it up front. Yes, you Probably have to declare up front your targets. Yeah. So, uh, you have played your card. Yes. Like a Santoro. Your team is going first. So who among you, the two of you? Uh, I'll go first. To try to take care of the cultist in front of me. Well, he's okay. behind you, but you're turning around. Oh, yeah. Whip around. Uh, yeah, chat says your last line was, oh, thank God I was going to kill you for figuring out who I was. That was my last line. <laughs> I'll say, oh, thank God, that saves me the trouble of killing you. <laughs> I was going to kill you anyway. Oh, at least you don't have to feel guilty about it. You, know? yeah. <laughs> you assume like he it. feels guilt. There would have been like a slight bit of guilt. More than slight. me. So there are five guys to kill here. How many reloads does uh, Antifo have? I think Not enough. Four? Because he has the bandolier. But if he chucks grenade, they'll maybe get three of them. Anyway, uh, I'm going to swing at... Don't forget, I also have the chain sword too. So. Yeah. I'm going to swing at the guy with my chain axe. I see. I have... I'll be fine. I, can't I, feel charge... like, I feel like the first time Antifo hacks someone down with the chain sword, he's going to look for how to reload it. <laughs> <laughs> he's like how do you, how do you sell though <laughs> uh you good sir are aiming to hit a defense of three okay i have eight dice to throw at this so sure sure uh that's well that's i have three five. and i have a uh do you, you do indeed have on the it's a critical hit that is indeed a crew. I want to get points of glory so that way we can seize the initiative. So, uh, it is friend, a, a so just don't shoot for damage. Huh? Yeah, well, I, I, can I still shift for the glory? Uh, yeah, so, so yeah, so that's it. You use your extra six to get glory rather than shifting for extra damage. I think I'm just going to use the wrath anyway. We start with two or three. It's two. Start with two. It's two. That's correct. Okay. What are you doing with the wrath? I was going to re-roll it to get extra ones to do damage, in case I don't kill this guy somehow. I see. Very well. Re-roll your five dice. Uh, I'd point out. You, point uh, out you did get more, and you even got another. Now I'll spend so the other one to do shift. extra damage. Both sixes now because you've actually got enough successes on just the normal dice, so you can shift two dice for extra damage. Yep, I'll shift both for extra damage. Very well. Uh, your critical strike is target suffers more one mortal wound, so it literally doesn't matter. This guy dies instantly. Oh well, all right, that was a waste. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you turn around and you're using your bolt pistol. Chain X. Chain axe. Okay. Well, a mortal wound with the chain axe is very grisly. I mean, we don't see it, right? We get a side angle cut of him swinging the chain axe, and the shadows on the wall show a spray, and then the spray hits the wall next to him, and he's like grinding his teeth, and there's like little fragments of bone and blood and stuff going over Lycus' shoulder, but we never see the guy he's cutting apart. But we hear two separate thumps. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's the first stop is like a goof, and then several seconds later, there's like a poof. it's bad. Like it's it, it's actually sickening what you've done to this. This I would call it a creature now, given how deformed it is. And oh, I don't have anything else to say about it. He's a heretic. It. Why I, do I feel sorry about it. I don't disagree in any of these regards. Uh, his even heretics have families, Pondo. I after mean, not do... after I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's now you're the most thinking like an inquisitor. I was going to say, that's the most inquisitor thing he's ever said. He's learning. Uh, Very well. That makes it my turn. Uh, no, we're going to spin a glory so that way it, so it can intervene. So Ow. we can check a frag grenade. Take that glory yes. back then. You can't have it. Did tell me about this uh, intervention and how glorious this is. Like a divine intervention. Pull pin. 
throw at other guys. Okay. <laughs> so you are using a grenade. Yes. <laughs> All right. So you're using your last frag grenade, if I'm recalling. Uh, it's the only. Very well. These got these three are close enough that they will all be picked up by the hit. That's fine. I love the idea that you like your movement forward is like a hop, skip, and a jump in order to give yourself more bounce on the throw. He mm -hmm. just discus hucks this grenade. <laughs> Let's go ahead. That's, Let's do it. So Show I have me. no idea what roll I need to make for this. Uh, it's still a weapon skill roll. Right. It's a ballistic skill. Ballistic roll. skill. Ballistic skill. Yeah, and it's against oh. the target of the lowest defense in the group. They all have a three. All right. So my ballistics is actually really well. So I'm rolling eight dice. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Let's see, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. So I got an upshift. Yeah, and the upshift damage only applies to one of them. Regular damage, standard damage applies to the others. Okay, um, so I'll upshift for damage for the, the closest guy. Very well. Uh, roll your damage extra. How much, what is a... 10 plus one for fire grenade. What? Is that real? Yeah, it's from mods on my character sheet. Okay, make that roll. That's so 11 to the normal guys, and okay. extra dice for the guy in front. So they have a resilience of six. It's AP zero. Uh, which means five damage goes through. They have a wounds of one, so you wipe all three of them off the board. Then I would suggest you stepping, a, putting a step behind, back. Huh. Just ignore the mess that's behind. <laughs> So just to just, just be super out, clear, toss a grenade, hop back. <laughs> how this went? These guys come running down the tunnels, and they're like, "Yeah, we're gonna kill these guys!" And within moments, the guy that leads them is dead, and the dudes that are running from the front that are like, "Ah!" They're dead too. It's literally just one guy left. I like to imagine these other guys running on the corner, and the guy, in the, you know, he sees him. Yeah, yeah, get him! And then you say, "Run away!" And they're all just flying back, Monty Python style. On solo against the stormtroopers. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I'll stop here. Our bolt pistol at Antifa. Just hanging out outside and you just hear a concussion. Oh, a he has a bolt pistol? He's an auto oh, pistol. Auto pistol, okay. Let's let us speak. Fence. It's probably better than mine. Well, actually, uh, it's the same as three. My defense is three. Remember, you can salvo with an auto pistol as well if he wants to. That does so much idea. Salvo Let's just salvo everything, why don't we? Yeah, I mean, mm. I mean, that seems to be Antifo's prerogative thus far, so. I'm not the one firing. Well, it's them shooting, so. I know. You must learn the error of your ways. Set of three, right? Yeah. We'll upshift. It's an extra die on the damage roll when you upshift? It's just, uh, that's right, yes. Yes. That's nine damage. A AP. Literally does nothing to me. Resilience yeah, is higher defense. than nine? Or 10 resilience. This guy comes rushing around the corner. He's got the auto pistol. He scoops up against this wall. You know, there's pipes everywhere uh, with the grenade explosion. There's little bits of people coming down from the ceiling. Gas is shooting. Steam comes out of a pipe. There's like some weird sickly green liquid coming out of another pipe. This guy is just like, ah, die, loyalist. Just like stops, stands in the middle, complete open, and sprays. I feel like both of us are just staring at him, and then we do the scene like in that that Tarantino film where they both look down and kind of look each other over and ourselves over, and nothing happened. Then we both just look back up at him. Both aim at him and fire ladder guns. <laughs> it's your stupid Tempestus armor. Good body. All right, you guys are up. You have first move, I guess. Okay. Uh, I'll go then. Can I go through Antifo? Yes. 
Okay. Two, three, four, five. Six. I mean, you can cut him out of that the way if you want to. Technically, can I right. charge at that? Yeah, why not? Three, four, five, six. I mean, I can. I would do. Five, six. And I want to charge. I don't think you can charge there, yeah. but you can never. Really okay. Well, I, that's still six right there. Yeah, but that's. I mean, you're not moving in a straight line. Oh, okay. You have to move a straight line. All right. So it's plus one to the attack, right? I believe so. Good so instead of eight, it's nine. Literally every the hundreds of entries. Yeah. Is I, it think, I think it is because I remember getting an extra like one or two die when I charge people in the cathedral. Character can move their uh, move in action to charge a target. They must make a full move up to their speed in meters. Perform a melee attack with a plus one attack bonus. But must make a full move? So yes. I actually have to get there. Yes. You don't need yeah, to move in a straight line. Either. You'd have to have to reach them. Okay. All right. You run past him for some reason. <laughs> No, you don't. You don't have to move the full. It just, it just counts as a full move action. Uh, Therefore, you can move up to your speed. Okay. So it is the plus one to attack. Yes. Yes. All right. Nine dice. I mean that power. That was almost the one on the rat die. That would be the thing that uh, I wanted. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just bump one to damage. Sure. 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 Tell me your damage power, friend. So two extra dice, plus one for damage. Uh, and it's AP one. Sure. Because I got a wrath. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it'll be five. Yeah, I just strength it correct for melee. Yes. Yep. For melee weapons. Okay, so it'll be eight plus whatever I get on these dice. Remember that it's brutal too, so you add plus one, so that three becomes uh, a four. Uh, chain axe is not. Chain axe. Little brutal. chain, little oh, chain weapons okay. are brutal. So, yeah, just one. Brutal. So nine, nine. nine damage. Yeah, in he's, one. he's very dead. Excellent. Uh, in moments, you have cleared out all of the heretics that were charging towards you. Question. Yeah. On this card, I'm uncertain what the tier plus three is for the the value. Your current is tier is two. Tier plus three. Yes. So that yeah, would all the game. The whole of... game is at tier two. Okay, right. so um, so the value then would be five and up to rare, rare. Yes. As I mentioned, okay. it's a five yeah. rare as we pick up. Okay. So just like, all oh, right, yeah. turns out I had another frag grenade. <laughs> What's the cost for that super special suit? <laughs> That'd be yeah. funny. So uh, for you, Cal Rakashair, you have snuck in to a different tunnel parallel to this one. Mm. I you lean don't... down over one of the, I play my card. I lean wow. down. I'm like, huh. Fancy that. And I pull out an arc pistol. <laughs> it's a five rare. <laughs> yeah, it's a mechanic it's a mechanicus pistol. 14 plus one AD. <laughs> plus one. Lightning. Jesus. Yeah. It's got the arc trait too, which means it does extra damage against vehicles. Yeah, because that's what he needs. It's like, huh? He's mechanicus weapon. Fancy that. I kind of stash it away with all the rest of my weapons. It's got a salvo rating too, so you can still rock and roll with that one. Yeah. <laughs> so now, not only does he need ammunition, he also needs batteries. Who says I'm going to keep this one for me? <laughs> because we know you. You're going to need it, all the ammunition you can get your hands on. <laughs> so, Calrec, Isher, uh, this factory is loud. Yeah. There's stuff That's... flowing through pipes. You can hear the distant sounds of people yelling to each other. It sounds kind of like walking down a street in Brooklyn. Some guy's just like, I'm walking in! And somebody else is just like... Hey, put your hat on. Yeah, like, you know, that's canon now. This whole underhive, everybody speaks in a Brooklyn accent. 
It's perfect for sneaking around. Why the, the gangers noises. all speak in traditional villainous uh, accents, you know, Russian, Mexican, and all the regular citizens. The rat. Yeah, the other team has not combated you. They haven't told you that they're under attack. What are you guys doing as you sneak? I think we're looking for signs of any ill doing here. I mean, we don't necessarily know there was something going here, but uh, I think we were looking for signs of heresy. No, because the um, assassin had uh, remember going out the fact that she was her words saying that all these people were corrupt and started offing them one at a time. Well, it wasn't necessarily that she knew that they were corrupt. She just suspected that well, they were she corrupt. Suspected they were and right. it would be better to sacrifice them to the emperor than allow a, no. you know, suffer not a witch to live. No. And she had a degree of confirmation bias going on. I mean, so. did she though? What if she, I mean, what if she was correct? <laughs> That's what we're here to find out. The high so, chance that at least one out of several of them were at least a heretic. <laughs> yeah. There's Hopefully a high chance that at least five of her co-workers may have been heretics. So we had some concerns about the output of this factory, like what was going down Hive. Yes. Um, so I guess for want of anything else, I mean, keep an eye out for things like symbols on walls, um, conversations people are having that might be untoward, but I'd be probably trying to make my way towards whatever the the output is to try and identify what it is there actually is it just plain industrial waste or is there something more malign about what this factory is producing yeah. fantastic you continue moving deeper into the factory doing that why don't you make an investigation check trying to keep your eyes open for any weird let's call it great enemy shit i would have said heretical but you don't believe in heresy and after that kerfuffle that we had, like as we'll send a, send a Vox beat over to a share in Calrec that uh, we ran into some heretics, could have took care of them swiftly. Keep Thank you for the up. grenade, by the way. <laughs> what is this total? Is this a four? Four successes on the investigation roll, yeah. yes. Uh, you're looking over the wall. Uh, you're looking for signs of heresy. When someone appears down the hallway, the two of you, you know, stealthily hide yourself. Maybe follow them for a little while. I wouldn't say stalking. You know, let's call it creative investigating. Yeah, stalking sounds creepy. Uh, yeah, it does, doesn't it? Um, no, no direct signs of heresy other than you're you're like in the middle of checking a wall panel. And you're like, is there a rune here, or is it just like some weird acid etching from a from a bad splash? Uh, when you get the call from. Lycus, informing you that there are heretics and they try to kill Lycus. Well, uh, Very good job of trying, though. Ensure that you hide the bodies. <laughs> Most of them are missing. <laughs> what bodies? No, I didn't. Yeah, oh, I, 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 the I giant mean, we don't know. We don't know. <laughs> we don't know that they're uh, a fine mist. <laughs> they they are mainly a fine mist at this point. What like little chunks are left the, will be the fragments and the pieces of body. I mean, That's you have two big... whole chain X corpses that need to be hidden if you want. Yeah, yeah I'd probably be working <laughs> on that. Go find a mop and bucket real fast. <laughs> and a lot of blood on the walls, and you know all the scorch marks on the floor. Or direct a, a direct a janitorial servitor. Mm. Well, I'll, I'll come like us back for that, that message. We haven't found any signs of, of the enemy here. It may be the whole facility, it may not be, but do you want us to treat all uh, workers here as hostile? We could easily end up in, in quite a pitched fight if we start engaging everyone we see. Or I wouldn't do that. Quietly? Just keep your eyes up on anyone that could have runes under their clothing that could pop up at any point. The runes under their clothing that we can't see. So, in other Just words, watch for their arms. Yes. Where... <laughs> we were making our way down towards the the output levels. Is that still sufficient? Yes. This place has been infected with heresy. I recommend we bomb it for morbid. We're in a Probably hive. This place is still useful, and we would have to get through the surface, I believe. Hmm. 
Maybe a few thousand well-placed explosives. Well, Antifa and I will try to dispose these bodies, what left of the bodies there are, quickly, and we'll meet you over there. Like I said, watch for anyone where the ends of their shirts are, perhaps bits of the chest that might be exposed, and maybe the legs. I'll see if I can locate a janitorial servitor. Oh, that's a good call. Yeah. Uh, like it, a... It's less janitorial and more like a hazmat uh, cleanup one. And you, you know, you give it some quick orders. Like, get rid of these bodies. And it's... <laughs> you can see it reach onto its chest where it says days since last accident. It flips it back to zero. <laughs> And then your gun's clucking over. Does it mean half a day? <laughs> Look, it's 32 minutes since the last industrial accident. It's a new record. <laughs> uh, it wordlessly begins to take the bodies and put them inside of a bag. Uh, so it's like grabbing limbs and stuffing them in a bag that says burn on it. Just makes a sad beep. <clears throat> a share. Kalrak, you arrive uh, past side tunnels, small alcoves, occasionally inhabited places, to what would appear to be, um, gosh, I don't know what they're called, but they're like those plastic strips that hang from the ceiling that you go through to go into refrigerated areas. Oh, air, uh, uh, like into a clean area or something. Yeah, 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 yeah something like that. And there's a, there's a sign above it written in low Gothic uh, indicating that this is the main factory floor. Uh, for this for this sub quadrant right like this isn't for the whole level or for the whole facility certainly this room is far too small but uh this is this particular processing area's main you get a sense of foreboding chill coming to it um for you i would like you to make a Tech roll, Calrec. Right. And I would like you to make a psychic mastery test to share. Six. This. It's not great. For you, Calrec, your your total is a three. I believe. Mm. Yeah. Uh. There is a hum of machinery that is different than what you've encountered from the rest of the facility, but it's probably fine. Nothing I unusual. Have wow. Okay. In this next room, <laughs> there is some serious daemon traces. Okay. If there isn't a daemon waiting for you in the next room, then a daemon has recently passed through this area. Maybe more than one. Uh, there's some serious warp problems probably there might even be some warp activity going on immediately right now mm, warp fuck, right? i'll um i'll hold up my hand to calrack and then get back on the bead i sense the presence of the neverborn here in the lower in the lower part of the factory excellent we'll be right over looking at your uh your vox ranges it'll probably be a whole minute before an otifo and like a show up uh, as soon as a sure says never Give me more, just enough time to reload. You just you just hear you know he drops some mag checks, make sure the rounds don't slap back. Just just come, before she even finishes assessing the word, just weapons out, just ready to go. Are you charging through? No, he's just ready because right. you're holding position. Then. Oh yeah. All right. I didn't know if I could get the party to continue to split up into the next room. Who knows? You know, you never know. The four of you reunite uh, outside of the room. Just reach up and flick off a piece of face off of uh, Lycus's shoulder. Well, oh. waiting, can I actually activate um, Chameleon while we're waiting? Sure, go ahead. Yeah, I'm going to try and do it um, fitted or you know, controlled. And Tifo smells of that and said, your, your grenade came in handy. I apologize, though. It only killed three people. Hmm. I'm pretty sure that was the maximum that the grenade could kill at once. Oh. Well, then it did well. Maybe with that attitude. 
Back of lungs. <laughs> I'm sorry. You probably should have shoved one down one throat and it may have gotten four. So I got seven on the psychic test, so I'm going to activate the power and I've got enough to add to three potency to add plus one defense. So that puts my defense up to four or five now. I think because I raised my into it. Yep, so five is my current defense against ranged attacks. Sure has cast mage armor. Would you like to cast mirror image as well? Be a good one. <laughs> All right, allow me to describe what you were looking at. And you guys can set up anywhere that is up to these little prongy things. So basically, like in this area, you are heading down a tunnel uh, into an open factory room. The walls are the edge of the map. Uh, so the tunnel kind of digs out into the main factory area. There is a marked restroom over here, and I don't mean like a bathroom like a place where workers who are between shifts can lie down for a, a few minutes. A it's breakout like a, room. Yeah. A lounge. Something. There is a uh, floor manager room back here in this corner. Uh, both of these rooms have enough windows that you can see uh, workers inside who make no attempt to hide their cultist status. They are wearing their cult robes. And now that you look like us, now that you're in a place with good lighting and they're wearing it, their robes are suspiciously similar to your beautiful suit. Uh, the purple, the gold, the pink, the black. You're thinking that maybe the new fashion wave on the planet was inspired by a little bit too much slanesh in some people's <laughs> dreams, maybe. I knew I no mean, sane man could design that suit. <laughs> I mean, you should have killed him for giving you that suit, to be fair. I should have, but... Just for the good of the galaxy as a whole. Urge to exterminate artists rising. <laughs> uh, there is a enormous, fully armored battle brother of the uh, Third Legion standing in the middle of some sort of demonic summoning ritual area. Over on the left-hand side of this place, there are machines set into the floor. Zoran the Bear, thank you for your raid. Apparently you raided us enormously. Thank you. Uh, someone give that shout out in chat real quick. These machines appear to pull material from the ceiling pipes and then output them into uh, like four foot long logs of, it's either a really goopy looking metal or it's a really meat like substance. It is disgusting looking. These machines are still working even though no one's standing at them. So there are piles of these bars. And as you're watching uh, each machine out of the dozen of them, like pops out another bar and then it drops onto the floor right next to the machine. In the middle of the room, there are what at one point must have been a dozen cutting machines. It appears that someone had to walk the bars over here, place them on a cutter, and then it would precisely cut them into places. Uh, several of these machines have been taken and used in the demonic summoning ritual. Calrac, you are sure that someone has performed heretic on these at the very least the machines that have been destroyed and possibly everything in here might have some heretic in it the machine spirits are going crazy up in this bitch this guy turns towards you and says so an iron hand space marine i am talgar the unrepentant i have known the emperor in my lifetime and you little brother Come here, wearing the colors of cowards. You people, the Inquisition. You continue to think that you can defeat the undefeatable using technology 10,000 years old. The Emperor wants none of this. He wants progress. He wants to live. You keep him sitting dead on a throne of uselessness that can no longer be seen. And then he hefts his bolt pistol and says, It's no concern of yours. You will be defeated soon, regardless. And you know, if this is d and I'd say roll for initiative. 
but it's not. So instead, I'm going to say I'm using a ruin point to have the Chaos Space Marine go first. Mm -hmm. uh, has it's everyone positioned themselves coming out of this tunnel as they would like to be? Is he elite? Uh, he's so elite. He's the most elite. Or is he an adversary? Uh, he he is an adversary because he's named. Like so it's really three points. To, three points to phase. Uh, let's see. Sorry, I thought it cost you the full three points. If he, if he I goes first, it costs three. I'm just double checking right. that at this tier. Yes, he's an adversary at tier two. Then I shall use all of my good stuff. Mm -hmm. So that's where you guys have chosen to place yourselves, huh? Very mm -hmm. well. Uh, at the beginning of the round, I actually generate a point of ruin back. Mm -hmm. And I'm going <laughs> to... I'll save it. I'll save it until I know for sure. He is going to immediately leap into combat. Uh, moving one, two, three, five, seven. Uh, with immediate and furious violence, <laughs> he is going to uh, basically do a grind over these machines. He's going to just put his hand on one of the cutters and do one of those like, Ha! Ah, throw my whole body sideways so I'm parallel with the machine over oh, it. Man. And then dsh, 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 whipping out a power sword beside his bolt pistol and just going for a decapitate the Inquisitor in one hit move. In the process, you can see that his cultists are coming together and getting off break and getting ready to murder. So what is your defense there, good sir? Like us? Mm -hmm. Three. Okay. All right. Well, I've. Well, this is gonna hurt. So it might be worth your while considering going full defense. It means you won't get to attack, but it also reduces the chance he's gonna do a lot of damage to you. That sounds good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So what you do when that happens is you make a roll, and the extra the successes count as extra defense, which that roll is. Um, full defense. You roll initiative. My initiative. So, <clears throat> is my initiative four? Okay. Yes. Yeah, and each success is one extra to your defense for the rest of the round. But you you can still move in your turn, but you only move half your speed. Okay. Now I can't attack. Yeah. Uh, three. Yeah. Cool. So, what's your new defense? Six. It would be six. Okay, I still hit. Yep. Yeah. So you wouldn't be able to bump any. Uh, yeah, that is true. Build up that is true. Um, so I'm dealing 13 plus one ED. AP is minus three, and I'm going to spend a ruin to give bonus damage dice equal to the game's tier, using veterans of long war. So this is the thing, Lycus. You've been trained in combat, you know, and this is not just like light training. You have had this hammered into you. And this has been trained through generations, thousands and thousands of years. Every one of these moves that you perform is pre-programmed. And this guy was there when that book was written. So when you go to block this dude, he is through your defense so badly. He has seen everything you've ever, every possible move you've ever thought you could make. He has foreseen it. Uh, so he's rolling three damage dice. What's the base damage? uh 13 13 so it's 14 ap minus three so it goes to 10 because you got ap four still defend resilience so you need to make us if you don't get at least one dice one roll on a soak test you're instantly slain because it's double your wounds in one hit that'd be really bad oh, i'm at zero so aren't i your soak is three. Oh yeah i mean I'm, I'm at zero shock at the moment yes yep before i make this roll so i uh you're gonna be out regardless no matter, no matter even if you rolled three oh no actually if you rolled three sixes you would be up on one wound remaining but you'd be unconscious anyway six three let's see so you say three so okay. become seven wounds oh. all right so i thought it was a slow roll no, yeah, so, you, so you soak three, take, you take seven wounds and four shock. 
Okay, you're put down by the wounds in the process. Uh, whenever a character... Okay, so at the beginning of your turn, you'll have to make a defiance check. You are unconscious at zero wounds, but you're not dead. Okay. That's it. Someone does need to stabilize you if you can't make these defiance checks, however. Yeah, this guy just leaps into combat and immediately basically fucks Lycus up really badly. Lycus is just like, I got this, guys! And this dude is just like, slipped through his guard, power sword, right into the gut. Lycus's armor is just shattered. Little pieces of it are flying past all of you. The dude puts a boot on Lycus and rips the power sword out. And just is like, SLANISH! And in response to the call, the weird kind of uh, demonic warp fuckery slash heretic heretech uh, guts of machine formed blood circle begins to pulse a little bit more. Friends, I have uh, cut through the initiative, which makes it your turn. And Tifo's yeah. just like, all right, I want to salvo with all of my weapons. I would all like right. to take two turns. Can I salvo with four weapons simultaneously? <laughs> He's like, can I pretend I'm a mad cat? I want to shoulder mount my guns. <laughs> do I we mean, if, he was a tech, if he's a tech priest, says a thing he could do. Do we still have crack missiles? Mm. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. Sounds Frankly, salving salver him with the arc pistol is probably the most effective thing to do yeah, to get the most damage out in one go. You won't kill him, but the idea is to get his wounds down so he starts taking dice penalties. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, let's start with that. So that is uh, salvo one. Yeah, so that's one extra dice on the attack roll. All right, and that's a ballistic, so that would be nine, 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 nine dice, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, nine. Okay, what's his defense? <laughs> Good question. I think if it's a standard cast price, when it's three. Uh, okay, so I you want to try more. to reroll your fails to see if you can get any more exalts or uh to add to either glory or more damage. You know that's not entirely a bad idea. I'm going to do that. Very well. I mean, you know, an extra one isn't bad. It means you can shift the six of damage at least. It does, indeed. Yeah. He was able to do it before. I was just. I was able to do it before. Um, let's see. So this is a. Uh, so what, the the salvo just gives me an extra die on the die roll, right? On the attack roll. That's it. Yeah. Or on the attack roll. Okay. Yes. Um, let's Your upshifting see. So this means is... you get an extra die on the damage. Um, yep, so that's 14 plus 1 ED, so that's plus 2 ED. Sure, sure. All right, so these two here. Oof, so 15, well, 15 so damage. Got a one. AP on that? Uh, yeah, one it's on AP Oculus minus team. 1. Okay, uh, that's uh, 11 armor. Should be hit for five. You have a. You have eleven armor. Penetration takes that down to ten. No, no, that's no, no, the... he's got twelve armor normally. He's got twelve armor. Oh, okay. So eleven. Yeah. With oh, the gotcha, gotcha. Yep. Uh, so you deal, bringing him down to six out of ten. That is going at to at least make he's got a one dice penalty or one one yep D and penalty at least. Uh, would anyone like to attempt to seize him? I mean, uh, we don't have, have any at the moment. No. That's very unfortunate. We, we blew up killing cultists. Yes, I recall. I remember it happening. One, two. You know, speaking of cultists, these cultists charge out and see Antifo uh, arc pistoling this dude. Basically, like Tesling. Electricity is going all over their sovereign savior. Uh, and they're all just like, no, great lord! And they all pull out auto pistols and are just like, ah, die, tempestor scum! Um, 
I like to imagine that they're all McCreeing this too. I know it says <laughs> auto pistol, but I want to imagine that they're all revolvers and they're two handing them and they're just like, ah, ga, 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 ga. that's just entirely in my head though. All right. So I get to add one extra die to this attack because they're fading in it. They are shooting at. Does the Chaos Space Marine count as cover? No, I'll give <laughs> I'll give it to you. I'll give you a plus one defense for him. Absolutely. Uh top weapon skills five. No. Yeah, so they're all there's tons of bullets. Most of them are deflecting off of the Chaos Space Marines armor. There's like a Space Marine sized hole of bullets in front of you, and you and his bullet shadow are taking none of it. Friends, uh, it is to you. All right. Um, Mr. Shearer wants to take a shot at him. I'm going to. No, no, you go for it. I'm going to charge him. Okay. So, so. yeah, so it's... Um, well, I was going to shoot him, so you might want, I want to do that before you charge, because that way I don't have to spend an action aiming to avoid hitting you, hitting you in... Uh, okay, that's fine. I mean, I'm going to charge him anyway, so, I mean, that's if I have to delay it, that's fine. Yep. So I may as well shoot first. So I'm going to salvo with my um, shuriken pistol yeah. on this guy. Barely. Those things are nasty, man. Um... Any chance I can grab um, deputy so I can just uh, add some more dice to my dice? That's yes. all right. Thank you very much. All right. Give a roll of shadow run levels of dice here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, okay, so I've hit. Um, might still will be worth re rolling the missed dice for the purposes of trying to get some more sixes. You know, Jim, with the you know with the, all the new factions or the supplements that keep adding new dice for each of the chapters, somebody's gonna model up some Iron Hands dice. I don't want to fucking get some in this game. It's a it's a, it's a dice four. there. It's a four. Okay, so I can still shift two dice for damage, and Indeed. that activates a penetrating quality. So damage is uh, twelve pen three, which I think is just enough to do nothing. Uh... Oh, no, no, sorry. No, no that's he's enough. 12, so. The armor's yeah, 12. Three With pen 3, yeah. you'll do 3 damage. Yeah, cool. Which at least takes him down to heavily wounded, so he's plus Doesn't 2 do. yeah. dice penalty actions. It's a near thing. Uh, as you can watch, it happened, Kalrak. Over your head, that shurikens are blazing past you. Uh, at first, it looks like this guy's going to absorb it on his right gauntlet, and then one of them goes through the gauntlet and out his hand and then three or four more and he's just like ah he thanos is his gauntlet as blood is spraying out of it and other weird material i mean you know this guy yeah. isn't just a space marine he's a chaos space marine so there's like purple stuff come out as well there's like a little rainbow going on it's it's absolutely what, disgusting what drugs glitter. is on <laughs> you're glitter. right he's, he's so natural. it probably would be glitter yeah <laughs> glitter and baby oil <clears throat> glitter baby oil uh, yeah glittery baby oil yeah <laughs> even worse so when the baby oil dries off it just it's glitter. just glitter just everywhere okay that just... would leave it to your side you have two people left to act all right i'm gonna charge him i mean as you do he's flicking lycus's blood and viscera off of his nice. power sword and just says nice. to you left-handed gripped come at me loyalist Dog of death. And then, so, now even lift, brethren. <laughs> so, your no, mindset no, no. is as unyielding as your iron hands. Six. Useless. I'm not, you know, falling for his bait. Okay. Just rambling. Just pure garbage. Uh, I'd have to respect, you know, have to respect him and listen to him, and I don't, so I'm not... Pure garbage, just like the Iron Hands. Ka 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 ka. <laughs> right, so six, and then so it's seven. Yeah. 
Really not real. able to get you into this, huh? Yeah, no. That's right, you think emotions are weakness. I'm gonna re-roll those. Oh, very well. Ones. I shall take your wrath from you. So yeah, you get b both ones, right? Well, and the two and the three. You re-roll okay. all yeah, the bad dice. Fine. Yeah, that works. Um, come on. There we go. Two more successes. Yeah, two more well, successes. You can, you can shift now at least for the damage. Indeed. Yeah, and I'll do that. All right. So, um, attack with the chain swords. It's five plus what's my strength? Six. Do you have a chain sword? Five plus five. Yeah, I did. Remember, I switched out for the chain sword. Oh, uh, right, right, right. Yeah. It's, I have it, I have it on my other monitor okay. because I haven't updated my sheet. Yep, 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 yep. All right. Yeah, so five plus, yeah. So, so. So, I have what? Five, six. Seven, eight, nine. I remember it's, it's 10 base plus you only roll the bonus yeah. dice. So you're, so you're two oh, bonus yeah. dice. Yeah. Two always, bonus dice. Two dice. always fucking forget that. All right, we're here for you. But just years of, you know, rolling all of them. All right. So that becomes plus three because the four, three becomes a four from Brutal. So okay. that puts you on 13... Pin zero for a chain sword, I believe. Yeah. Uh, yeah, unfortunately. So that's one wound goes through. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's weak. Even the Xenos hits harder than you. Is I this how far your legion has fallen? Isn't he down like two hit points now? <laughs> yes, but he only got hit for one hit point from this particular. Yeah. And if I had power armor, too, I could soak hits too. Yeah, that's fine. You know, like, yeah, big, big talk for a man entombed in two tons of yeah, steel. Wearing, wearing essentially tank armor and using a power weapon, yeah. Uh, he's sucking, a, he's sucking a lot of mad a shit. He's sucking a lot of mad shit for someone in crusading distance. <laughs> Generate it. Um, that's right. We need to have Lycus make his defiance check real quick. All right. Uh, what is so, make so, defiance so check? It's a day six, and on a one, two, or three, you fail. On a four, five, or six, you pass. You can spend a wrath to add one to the dice roll before you roll it. So you pass on the three, four, five, or six. If you pass, you go to one wound and you're conscious. If you fail, you mark one, or you just pack one fail. If you fail three times, you're dead. Okay. Dead uh, yeah, I'll spin one to get a plus one. So just roll three or above on one dice. Go! Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you're awake on one wound. There was a there was a one that was floating there for a moment, and it was glorious. So it goes from seven to one. Uh, so you have one wound yes, you have remaining. one wound left. Okay, so I guess so your wounds of five is now a wound of one. Oh, yeah, that's right. I charged him too, so I'm all up in his grill. Yeah. Okay. So it was at seven wounds, so it's going to five. If, if you're counting up, it's five. You've taken five wounds then. Gotcha. Uh, four, uh, four wounds. Uh, how many? Uh, aren't you your, five? Your wound total wounds action? is five, right? No, I I haven't updated my sheet yet. I'm a toughness four now. Okay, cool. So you got your five uh, wounds then. Really you have one wound left. Is is the key point. Um, I generate a ruin at the beginning of the turn, and it Have you is. Updated your resilience, by the way, because this affects resilience. Oh, does it? So you would have been, you would have oh, been five plus. Five. So, you would, so you would have taken one less wound before as well. Well, I still would have been at six out of six. And you would have had one more dice to soak. Oh, can I just preemptively reroll that? that? This might mean that you're. Here we go. Nope. No. Okay, I mean, so you were we're so deep now, into this, guys. We've even spent our wrath here. I don't think we're going to reverse that. Um, <clears throat> at the beginning of the turn, I believe the players act first, according to the ancient laws set down in the Lexicanum. I would like to act first. I yeah, thought you might, sir. So I'm guessing I don't have any reloads for, <laughs> for my art pistol. You do not. You, yeah. uh, well, no. I will. I'll throw this at you as a technicality. The card that you had specifically said you started the game as if you had it. So mm -hmm. even though we played it as you picked it up off the body, you would have had reloads. You picked up the ammo off the body. However, it does take mm. your turn to reload. So does it? Well, well, no. I mean, you can you can you can reload and fire. Just uh, I add one. Add, sorry, two difficulty because you're yes. not doing a multi action. Well, I'm going to do that. So it's defense, okay. so it'd be, you need a five? Yes. Plus there's a um, chance that you could hit us. Oh well, yes, quite. I mean, we could reload and then either myself or a sure, you know, have the better, at least we can do some damage, right? 
But a share yeah. the Shuriken pistol, I mean, you're you have a better, best chance of fucking him up because you've got uh, all the well, AP. Share already reloaded, uh, already salvoed. So I mean, no, that, I didn't realize. Uh, now this is a pistol. Is it because I'm not in melee with? Correct. With him? So what if I move right here? Yes. Because it's a pistol, I can still fire. Yes. Does he get the plus one for charging? Charging is only with a melee weapon. Melee weapon. That's true. Okay. Yeah, it, it means he loses out on the extra dice for being at point blank range. Yeah. But he can't hit you oh, at least. Oh, does it? Yeah. Well, then, sorry, guys. I'm going to do that. Fine. <laughs> I'll just remember when you uh, shock me to death. <laughs> I mean, well, if you, you get hit really... by this thing, you will die. <laughs> so... I mean, I, how many times have I told you, don't stand in front of me? Uh, well, I keep on standing in front of me. <laughs> I mean, what are you going to do? Let's go for it. I'm going to do it. My God, if you pull a one on your wrath die, the comedy will be unending. You did. I did not pull a uh, one on my wrath it die. It was so but sad. you did miss. Uh, I'm gonna reroll my misses, though. Oh boy! What's great is that Wrath die is in the Still in the mix. Play. I know. So you need just one more success, technically speaking. Yep. Shit! Uh, you got right. you, you I got an upshift. You can shift. Yep. All right. So all upshift for that gives me an additional damage die, right? Yeah, so that's 13 plus 2 ED. All right, so 13, so 14, 14. pin 1. Pin 1. Uh, okay, Three so damage. I am definitely going to spend this ruin. Soak. You son of a bitch. <laughs> I mean, why do you think I didn't have him go first in the round? It wasn't yeah. because of magnanimousness. Because I wanted to went first last time and you didn't have enough room to take control. It, it only costs three on the first <laughs> round of combat. It only oh, costs the extra dice for the first three, round. Three, four, five. So I soak five of the wound. So I take one. Sorry, how many wounds am I taking? You were taking three. three. Okay, so, so I only take, take, take four shock. Four shock and no four wounds. Four shock, no wounds, indeed. Uh, works for me. Excellent. Uh, it is now his turn. Great. He, I'm thrilled by this. He stands over uh, the acolyte who's getting back up off the floor and just coughs wetly with blood after being shocked again and says, you should have stayed down. And then, you know, underhanded grip, power sword down into Lycus in a way that if it hits will almost certainly be an execution shot. Is there any way I can look out Sir Lycus? You mean you wanna you wanna yeah. either not Mr. President push, push him out of the way or like shoulder check this guy to help Lycus. I mean, I will allow you to I mean, cause even though I'm not in the armor, I'm still like I'm still the same size as him, like man to man. He just has the extra size of being in power armor. So it wouldn't be a negligible amount of mass hitting him. Or try maybe hit his arm or something. I'm just going to do the duck. Down. I mean, or if I can, like, I don't know, somehow hit him in the arm with a chainsword or something. I mean, I'm, you know. No, I don't think you can him. interfere with this, but I certainly think you can attempt to take the blow. I would say that it would take you a glory to do this. No, we don't have that would allow you to interfere. We don't. Order. Yeah, that's the problem. I don't think you have yeah. the resources to do this. There's just not enough time. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just. <sighs> Duck and cover again. Yeah. Fine. All right. Make the roll. Uh, my defense is six again. Oh boy. So yeah. he, needs, he needs an eight to hit you then, because he's because he's heavy wounded status. Yeah. Well, you're. We figured out that your resilience and shit's higher too, right? Because of the. Yeah. So. You get better better chances anyway. Well, he's can... already so wounded if it hits, there's not going to be much to. Oh boy. That did not work out for me. That's a five, I believe. That's, that's if a I'm miss. I'm going to use dice correctly. It's a miss. 
he brings down time. you can see Kaurak is reaching out like no like it's just, just like ah dodging out of the way he brings the power sword down and drives it several feet into the industrial uh flooring it's like one of those scenes where they go to stab it and he just rolls just enough so that yeah. it goes right past him sizzles his hair sizzles some of the power field sizzles some of his hair as he dodges out of the way guy spends the rest of his turn lifting the sword back out uh same move won't work twice asshole and singing oh wow nice one lighter <laughs> see there's a reason why i just didn't say shit because i couldn't say anything good enough <laughs> i was just like but, yeah i was like it's like it's like yeah wait a minute i mean we probably wouldn't rise to the the jest or the taunts Okay. Emotional inhibitor implant doesn't doesn't care. It is to you all that the uh, the turn turns. All right. Um, I say we let a share fire. Be sure. I mean, you've you've got. I'm you've pretty got sure you're the only one that can do some decent damage at the moment. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I mean, I guess I could try shooting a bolt pistol. Let no let a share go because bolt pistol is AP zero. I mean, yeah, it's brutal or whatever, you know, whatever, but a sure has oh, got... What's a, yeah, I mean, Sharuk and Pistol is... Yeah. Well, I was probably going to multi-action to draw the sniper rifle and... Uh, aim that worked, you know, even better. Yeah. Just, let's stand to getting through his eye. We'll see. It's probably uh, going to be... Well, what's a... I mean, yeah. Either way, you're going to do more damage than the rest of us. Yeah. I'll be I'll be 10 plus 3 ED if I hit, which is yeah. plus anything on shift. That should do it, then. Yeah. Okay. You do hit. All right. No worries. So, uh, nine extra rice for that. Okay. Oh, no, six. Okay, so his defense is three on multi action, so I need five, two, three, <laughs> four, five. So I can shift two extra. So I've got an extra. So I've got my base three plus two more, so five ED. Okay. <laughs> Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So, but no pen. That's one wound. <laughs> well, damage is damage. One hit point left. <laughs> damage is damage. Let's make music together, friends. These cultists charge forward, uh, and they are gonna. Uh, how much? Around. They can move like six meters. They can get there. Don't worry about it. Maybe it's. Are we one not counting step. the squares? We are. They can make it there. It's just that this guy's big. <sighs> they are charging forward and stabbing Antifo. Whole mob of people mobbing up on Antifo. Uh, and they're singing, right. by the way. They're singing Antifo. And the song that they sing is the beautiful song of Slanesh. Uh, they're trying to entice you to join them. They're just like, Tempester, join us in song. Sing of glorious battle and sunshine. Death everywhere. Oh my, you I are... guess my bolt pistol sings a much fancier tune. I was, I was hoping you were, let me play the song of my people and just unload on them. <laughs> uh, your defense is three, yes? Uh, yeah. That is a miss? Wait, I get an extra die. Does there? That five stays up. That's it. That's it. That's what I needed. Thank you, Mister Five. That will hit. Okay. Do no damage. More likely. <laughs> uh, it's five plus one ed. Yeah, it won't do anything. Seven points of damage. These <laughs> four guys run forward. They're all <laughs> stabbing <laughs> you with their steely knives, but they just can't kill the beast. Wow, Hotel uh, California, really? I, <laughs> I thought you'd like that one. <laughs> see, I, what, this is see the difference here. Uh, said because he said the beast, and I'm reading through the Beast Arises series. I'm like, there's no fucking huge orc here, just immediately in my brain. <laughs> it is no back, difference. but I do have his big chopper. It is back <laughs> to all of you, friends. Um, I think it's just can right now. Oh, yeah. and obviously, like is still getting action, but yeah. not an attack. Yeah, I'm gonna make another attack. Um, okay. <clears throat> okay. Or, uh, come on, dice. Don't feel me now. Uh oh. Fuck. Um, I'm gonna reload. 
you can't re-roll the wrath die. Oh, you can't? Yeah, that's right. I, was, I, was fucking... I mean, you can... Yeah. Well, I, I guess you have to see what the... Yeah. Can't you re-roll the failure, but the... Uh, the, yeah, the wrath the stays. Complication hey. of... You can still roll the, the foul dice to get... to get Because you hit either, either way. That's what the complication is. Uh, this weapon fails. So, sorry, what are you using? Chain sword. Chain sword. You, you uh, draw, draw again from another weapon. Yeah, I just have to draw again. Function again. Because it's not, it doesn't, it's not a plus. Something with this attack has gone wrong. The strike hits a target that is very inconvenient for the current situation, such as an explosive fuel source or controls to extend a bridge over a chasm. Wow. Hey, remember still all that the bad guy, though. weird gloopy stuff? Does it still hit the bad guy? <laughs> Yeah, so a complication, if the, if the attack hits, the complication adds to that, but it doesn't actually change the fact that it hit the strike. So it's gone sure. through the Marine into, you know, something. Uh, into the wall next to you. Uh, allow me to figure out how bad this will be. The answer to that is pretty bad. Are you rolling your three dice to try and get more damage? Because you can't shift those two sixes yet. No, I'm waiting right now. Oh no, please continue. I'm looking some stuff up on my end. Oh, okay. Uh, nothing about that will change. Yeah, I right, will just mean if it still hits. I uh, mean, I, I believe that you got at least a three, correct? You will yeah, absolutely yeah, That hit. is sick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but the thing is, so the most damage you could do will be a 12, which would do exactly zero to him. So mm -hmm. it's up to you if you want to spend the wrath to have a chance to you would need to get at least two successes on the three dice to be able to shift for an extra dice. See, he's got how many more wounds left? One? Uh, yeah, one. one. He, he has, has one yeah. wound left. Uh, yeah, fuck it. Why? Why? You can re-roll that wrath die too. It just, you just... No, you can't. You, you can't, can't re-roll re uh, the wrath. We, we looked it up last time. So, let's see. That's two successes. Okay, so you can shift one six, so you're rolling two extra dice, and you need to get at least you need to get at least a five and a three or above to be able to do any damage to him. All right, let's see. Oh, that was a bit of a there I was six. So no, that's exactly twelve. Yeah. So he just gets the shock. Whomp, whomp. Yeah, he takes a he take a shock. Yeah. yeah. So in the process, you stab into you know you do that wide swing. You hit this guy, he glances off the armor, and he's like, Ah, pain! I taste of it! It is glorious! Your swing continues, and you hit a pipe on the wall, spraying you and Lycus uh, with some pretty nasty-looking chemicals. Uh, at the end of the round, you both you both are given the toxic condition, and you're poisoned. Right, you just turned both of you into Two-Face. You're both being... Uh, sprayed with some weird green liquid that probably is not great you're poisoned you must pass a toughness test at the end of every round or suffer damage oh. um well i mean what kind of like how is it just because it sprays us or yes is it, let's say that you know because okay i know your space marine would normally be able to process yeah. all this but wrath and glory can't make you completely immune to that you just get a bonus die on your check or someone can treat either of you using the medicaid test we're kind of busy right now yeah just we're a little i little am bit. aware that you are currently involved in what some would call uh, a shitty time i mean i'm doing okay but... okay <laughs> does well, it also I... get the space marine the spray Yes, it hits Lycus and Kalrak. No, no, no. Oh, Kalrak does it hit him? No, 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 he's good. <clears throat> it's just those two. It's like a direct spray that hits both of them. Mm. So it's your other call to script now. I know, it's just I'm so weirded out by the space brain implants thing. And I'm looking up. It really does not give any shits, huh? Okay. This narrative bonus is where the GM feels it's appropriate. Indeed, yeah. indeed. So, other group of cultists are going to go uh, here. And as some of you are watching, a share can't see. 
they begin pulling out knives, uh, strange ruined implements, and one of their number uh, is sacrificed to this red portal of doom. The weird cutting machines that make it up and the blood that makes it up pulses even heavier, and all of you can hear something just in the back of your mind a share it this is there's some warpery going on right now they're trying to tear through uh you can hear the chaos space marine encouraging them yes brothers bring forth another beast that's not great all right uh yeah we're gonna drop this that's guy. your action now like us so i suggest you tactically withdraw I was just going to shoot with a bolt pistol. Okay. And then... <laughs> because it's uh, like, I withdraw! No, no, you took, you took, no, you took the full defense action. Oh, I can't so shoot. Can't. Yeah. No. That's unfortunate. Get back. Get behind me, damn it. I mean, you can't go I anywhere, guess. right? I can only go half, so... There are, like, disengage or something like that? Yeah, basically you can only move you only move half your speed, so effectively your speed is quartered to disengage. So he moves like two meters. You slink away, desperate not to be stabbed again by this. Uh does that leave any of you to act still? No, it's a new round now. Very well, at the beginning of the round. I generate Friends, countrymen, Roman. Send it to CZ. Trying to get in here. Dab. His good friend, the Iron Hand. I mean, their friendship goes back generations. 10,000 years, really. The Iron Hands, the Third Legion. Wouldn't you say that uh, originally that they were best friends forever? What's your they defense? Actually were, they actually were best friend. best friends. That's it. They made each other weapons. Yeah, oh, no, they, they were, friends do that. They actually were best friends for yes, a long yes. time. Defenses uh, too. All right, it's a four now with this heavily damaged state. Okay. I just got a one on the rat die. But still a hit. Still a hit. But no upshift. With the problem of weapon mouth. What the fuck? Ooh, the another power goes? sword. That's bad. Oh, it doesn't affect my other weapons. Oh, uh, man. Yeah. Inconvenient to <laughs> Wow, okay. Wait a second. Is this also a weapon of Oh, okay. My apologies. I was drawing from the discard pile. The actual one it's still weapon malfunction. Blinded! The character's attack causes them to become blinded. Perhaps they have punctured a steam pipe. That sounds great. Uh, this condition lasts until the end of the round. Yeah, so in the process of stabbing you, he succeeds. Uh, but he hits the pipe right next to yours, and you're thinking, all right, this bitch is done. He's about to get covered in some green goop. And instead, some steam gets in his eyes, and he's like, ah, the pain is glorious. Sledash. And then, of course, it's like the same pipe, too. Remind me again, James, what the uh, the parry quality does. Is that one? Adds, adds, adds one to your defense if it's in your hand. Yeah, so, yeah, he, that's, that is. so he'd miss yeah. then as well. Yeah. Ah! I've missed because I'm blinded and definitely not because you parried. <laughs> Very unfortunate. Uh, that would make it the turn for all of you. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot. I need resilience checks from Lycus and Calrock. Okay. Toughness. What's my the apologies. What's the difficulty of the, uh, of the test? Three. Devin. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> you succeeded with seven? No, I was just... The test is seven. <laughs> Three. Three? Okay. And it's toughness? Yep, straight toughness. My toughness is what, correct? Is that right? Yes. That is what you said earlier. Uh, shit. Yeah, I'm gonna fail it, I think, for sure. Uh, succeed. I succeed. Uh, Calrac, you take... You're no longer, you're no longer poisoned. Uh, Calrac, you take one mortal wound. Oh, great. Uh, beside you, the guy who doesn't have magical implants, some poison him, is just like, ah, oh, I'm fine, guys. 
Ugh, it's a little weird, but <laughs> it's like rubbing it out of his abs. <laughs> oh man, oh, I got some of it in my sucking gut wound, but I think I'm good. <laughs> oh, I actually cauterized it a little bit. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling a pleasant tingle. Uh, mm, it smells minty. <laughs> I think I should probably be more worried about it than I am. Calrec, you are still poisoned. Uh, mm -hmm. So you'll have to make another check at the end of this. But it is now y'all's turn. What like to do? Uh, I would like to go shoot the cultist. I mean... Yeah. Well, let's... Someone, someone take out the Space Marine first. I yeah, think. so either I can make an attack or... You know, for having two wounds and then one wound, this guy has survived a surprisingly long amount of time. It's almost like he's inside of a tank or something. <laughs> the one thing is Crazy how that we works. might want to get a glory instead of extra damage. That well, way we as can... As soon as I roll enough sixes, I'll get right on that. <laughs> that way we can interrupt and shoot the cultists over there so they can't summon some no. demons, essentially. Well, once we get rid of, once we take care of this guy, we can. But let's worry about problem A at the moment. Okay. So, I mean, if no one else wants to, I'll attack him. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm in melee with these cultists now, so. I'll. I can take do salvo, short point blank, all that stuff. With a ball pistol. He went shoot. Hmm. Uh, the Space Marine, if we're going to do that. Accordingly, with your penalty for being hit. DN5. It's a difficulty James 5. Over. James is the greatest abacus I've ever been on <laughs> Right? Game. I'm just James like, uh, ball. how far can this thing move? And James is just like, it's 5. They changed it in 2nd edition. It's uh, almost like he play tested third. the game or something. Yeah. It's crazy how that works. No, I, I mean, for any show that he's ever been on, oh. he's, he's just like, yeah, I have all the stats memorized. And uh, for the ones looked, that I don't. Is, have you looked behind him? I'm not surprised. Someone earlier was like, how do I get a library like James? I just have like some Warhammer rule books. That's it. I don't you have, have any to really rule. hate money. You have to hate money. And that's how you get a library like this. <laughs> yeah. Weird. Huh. That sounds well, that's about a third bad. of it, too. I've got the same over there and then more bookshelves in my bedroom. I also uh, hate money. So, yeah, I get it. All right. So it's difficulty five, seven. Uh, he's point blank, correct? Yes. OK, so it's another one says so eight Then rapid fire two. Makes it ten. Yeah, remember, let's say you got the point blank here. Yeah, he had yeah. a point blank. So that's 10 and then that's salvo that'd make it 12 right right sure yeah right good one on that on that critical don't you do it shoot somebody in the back no nope. kidding one two Fucking three four five four. six that'll so. hit but i don't i don't think you can actually no because it's a five he hits no uptick yep which means that uh the best you would do would be 12 damage, which so you, you can give him a shock. Ooh. Which shock does he have left? Yeah, that's, that's an AP one though. So that wouldn't that actually be enough to do? No, that? it's AP zero. No, no, he's bolt yeah, pistol no. Bolt pistol. Oh. Yeah, Sorry. you fire yeah. the bolt pistol at him while crawling backwards, uh, getting back up on your feet. Why is he... your bolt pistol not AP negative AP one? Mine is. So bolt weapons don't have AP. Yeah, bolt weapons don't have AP. This is AP zero. Yep. I think, I think the, well, no. I don't remember if the bolt rifle does or not. But... I think heavy bolter does. Yeah, well, that's a heavy weapon. So, I mean, this does nothing to him. You know, it simply deflects off of his armor. Uh, the cultists will now try to swarm Antifo. Uh, well, no, that's not going to work for them. They're not going to deal any damage. Hmm. They're going to get in there. They're going to pry open this little area, and they're going to stab the Acolyte. I'm going to say that even though they're all mobbed up here, only the first guy can get in. What, you're trying to do something to me? No. no he's trying to do something to me. He's moving laterally past you and chasing Lycus. Uh, so only the first That's guy, no bonus. I miss children, is why you don't talk mad shit. <sighs> Five...
Uh, I generate two points of ruin. Do you? Yes, I do. I roll six on a mob die. Mobs don't have ruin die. Wrath of the gods. Wrath of the dark gods. That's a special rule for cultists. Uh, yep. Uh, but they can't critical hit though, so it's not a crit. Correct. It's not a crit, but it does generate enough hits to hit, uh, which you will hit for five plus one, no AP. Uh, no, that is can't. seven. I have resilience eight. Okay. Well, then it does no damage to you, but it does look real good. <laughs> Friends, countrymen, Romans, uh, lend me your turn. Well, I guess I'm going to have to get these cultists out of the way here. Because I'm not going to be able to fire on that space marine. Otherwise. But do you want me to take a shot at him now to try and clear some space? Yes. If we go ahead and take him out, go for it. Okay, so I'm going to do a cold shot. Yes. So that increases the by two and increases the damage dice by one automatically. So I'm now aiming, so I've got back to 12 dice. So there's enough to hit. One, two, three, four. So I can hit with one up shift. So that would be the base one plus one extra for cord shot, plus one for the shift, plus two for the sniper trait. So five ED. Yikes. Oh, what's that for? Is that a, that's a one, two. That's nothing. Wow. So that doesn't do any damage to him. Yikes. On their turn, uh, another cultist being intoned in prayers to Slanesh lets out a shrieking cry and then does like a ululation. He's like, oh, la, 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 la. There's like some yodeling involved in there and another one of his brothers swings the ruined instrument into his gut. The dude turns into a purple flame version of himself, like an outline of wreathed flame and then disappears. And that little humming noise that's in the back of your ears, now it's at tinnitus levels. Okay. Man, the immersion is so real. <laughs> uh, did anyone on your side still have uh, to act? Yeah, Cal reckon and Tifa. Yeah. Well, friends, uh, let us let us learn more about Calrac and Antifo's choices in life. I mean, I'm going to make melee attack. Who would you like me to go? Because I'm going to have to hit the cultists. I'm going after the Space Marine. So, yeah, I'm going to make another melee attack in Space Marine. Maybe it'll work. Draw towards me, friend. Uh, that is three. So you need four successes because you're lightly wounded. Oh shit! Then that will not succeed, friend. Is he? Does he only have like one wound taken? Yeah, but that's, it's only as soon as you're taking any wounds, you're at plus oh. one difficulty number. No. You don't have any more wrath here. Nope. You go to engage this guy, and there's a lot of parry. Oh, that's right. He also has parry because of the power sword, so you're nowhere near close enough yeah. to hit him. Uh, the two of you enter into a Jack Sparrow versus Captain Barbosa level sword battle, uh, where he's just like, what are we to be two immortals locked in battle, third legion? Isn't he still blinded? Uh, yeah, sure. But that only affects his outgoing. Oh, okay. It would be a plus four for him. That that goes away at the end of the round, too. Uh, yeah. Odd for that to happen. What is it? Yeah. It's kind isn't it? Uh, it's plus, gives you plus four D and do any actions that require sight. Including well, you could take combat. you could take a multi attack and it would affect. Okay. The each additional attack. Antifo, friend. All right. Time That's to clear some out some cultists. So bolt choice. pistol. Uh, rapid fire two. Salvo. Because yeah. I got a salvo. So uh, eight, uh, 10, let me ask what's happening with this arc pistol are you doing that shit that people do in like modern warfare games where you know when the weapon is out of ammo you drop it and you just pick up a new pistol it's, from called, your belt? it's, a, it's a new york reload, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, new york reload. <laughs> <laughs> i've never heard it but now it makes so much yeah, sense exactly you empty it drop it and just pull another one yeah. <laughs> have you ever seen boot knock saying it's exactly what that old guy does with like uh, six yeah. pistols there was a firefight. No, no, with six that, guys exactly. with guns. What, Why are you what about, what, what about one guy with six guns? <laughs> uh, <laughs> or like uh, like pirates used to do. Fire it, drop it, pull another one. Fire it, drop it, pull another one. 
All right, so what do I need to, to hit? Uh, you're not wounded, correct? No. Uh, three. Oh my God, what the hell is that? You got it. You hit. Fuck. That is a trash roll, by the way. That is a trash That is the most Sid Alpha roll. roll I've seen in a while. Oh for my one God. Thing. But it succeeded, so it's not exactly Sid <laughs> Alpha roll. All right, so the damage is... Uh, um, 10 plus 1 ED. All right. And so it's, that's that's I guess 11. The question is how many extra did you hit? Uh, it is brutal. Yeah, was, um, you don't have enough to destroy more than one guy. Yeah, because you, you need to get every every two DN over the target number you needed. You kill you hit an extra guy. So great. That makes me feel so happy that yeah. I rolled all those ones and twos. You brutally. Uh, shoot a guy in the head with the auto pistol or sorry with your uh, bolt pistol holding the trigger down reloading holding the trigger down over and over again uh, as that happens another dude just takes his place and is just like hi I'll be your chief cultist for today <laughs> have you heard the good word of Slanesh uh, Kalrak, I need you to make another toughness like, test. Just slowly chew yeah. through his torso and everyone else is just standing there watching. They're not standing there <laughs> watching. You know, they're doing their Final Fantasy Idol animations. They're like, who? Ha! Yeah! They're standing nearby looking impressive. Oh, oh my god. This fucking game hates me. It's rolling. Yeah, that's enough. Right. It was three. It was required. Right. So I'm going to go ahead and draw that complication, right? It's not a combat complication, it was a toughness test. But you have a regular complication then? No, because you don't you yeah. don't when you when you, you don't roll wrath dice when you do a um, um, very test. well, very okay. well. Congratulations on your success. You're no longer poisoned. At the beginning of the round, I gain a ruin and then immediately spend it to <laughs> have my boy Chaos Spice Marine go first. Uh I should say, by the way, his name is not Chaos Space Marine. I should address him properly as Talgar the Unrepentant. Hmm. Anything else I can do with this guy to really just kind of make your all's life hell? Not really. I guess. He's already getting glittered. Multi attack. I'm just gonna stab this Medusaite right in front of me. Medusaite. So you need six, I believe, because your t defense is two, plus you've got... Oh, parry. sorry, you need five, plus one for parry, plus two for his wounds. Three, it's eight. I got it. But you can't upshift. I'm going to spend a rune to reroll those failures. Is it, wasn't it seven? Because it's five to parry. One, two, three, four, five, no, six. No, it's already included. Well, it's five. Well, no, yeah, no, never mind. He's too defensive. Too I defensive. have enough to upshift, which I will. So, Power Sword is 13 plus 2 ED now. Yikes. Nope. Uh, 13 AP minus 3. Good 10. Uh, resilience. Armor. Yeah. So, uh, six wounds to get through. Yikes, that you, is... you want to um, soak? Yeah, I have to, I don't have a choice. Well, it would drop you to one wound, right? No, oh, you got poison. Oh, boy. Poison. Yeah. Yikes. It's almost like getting so, hit with a power weapon fucking sucks. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> it's crazy how that so works. Five, five dice to soak, then. No wrath dice. So it's five wounds and two shock instead. Yeah, You're down to one wound, correct? Yeah. Yeah. This guy drives this into uh, your shoulder armor, your pauldron, uh, yanks it out, that power field vibrating in your body, and you're like, oh, shit. Uh, he pulls it out and is like, you will sing of the glories of Sanesh, or you will die before me, Talgar the Unrepentant. Have you con so he's got like his boot on your chest and he's like, have you considered repenting and joining the side of, of good? Renounce the emperor now and become one of us. 
Go fuck yourself. I've done it! <laughs> Friends, it is your turn. Do you want me to take uh, the shot? Oh, yeah, no. Uh, sure. I was going to go kill the cultists. Forget the cultists. We gotta kill the spacemen. The cultists don't fucking matter, like, at all. Well, he's they trying really to get don't. the cultists out of the way so I can fire my, so, uh, yeah, my volley gun. Well, I mean, but okay, what's the AP on the volley gun? Cool. Uh, negative two. Minus two. With Salvo, Ten plus it could stand a pretty good chance to get some up. You know what, so friends? Good... Let me, let me, maybe. I didn't even realize we're like 20 minutes past break time. Maybe now's a good time to go to the bathroom, stretch our legs, catch our breath, and give you a little time to come up with a plan. Because this is a multi tiered combat. There's a lot going on. People are dying. When we return, probably more people will die. I mean, I can say with absolute certainty that someone will die. We'll be here when you get back. Enjoy the break music. <laughs>